Hey, 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 everyone, my name is Nolan, and I, 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 I honestly, guys, I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. It's just every episode seems to start in the pit of night. I don't know why, I can't explain it, but it just happens. Um, but yeah, we are in our first episode of hard mode, and usually when you go into hard mode, you have a lot of tedious work to get out of the way, such as, like, farming for souls of night, uh, farming for souls of light, farming for cores of helium, farming for cores of whatever, basically just farming. So, anyways, I did some off-camera mining, I'm, I'm just kidding, okay, I didn't do much mining, I did off-camera farming, okay? And I got a lot of new stuff. So th I got this sword here. Um, I don't really know if it's going to be too useful, but it is still cool nonetheless. Uh, it's not probably not going to be that useful because we're going to take on two bosses today. I'm not ending this episode until I beat both Queen Slime and Cryogen. I, I, I got this legendary Cutlass. Uh, the Cutlass is really good. However, I think the weapons that I have are just better. Um, I also got this Evil Smasher. However, I don't think that's very good at all. Um... And I did get a Format C yo-yo, however, I also got the Amarok, so I think that that's definitely what I'm going to be using over those ones, because Amarok is really good. Um, so yeah, I got the Fetid Bagnax. I don't even know if that's how you say it. But it's a really good melee because it's super fast. Um, and then I got... Uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, there were melees that I have to make. So first off, uh, we got to make some gears here. I oh, I should have got something for wings. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to take Cryogen and Queen Slime Slime on without wings. Um, yeah, okay, it's fine. So I'm gonna throw everything in here because I can make upgrades to all of that. Uh, this too. Can I put that in there? Yes. Okay. So first up, let's make the yo-yo bag. Yo-yo bag. Cool. Nice. This will definitely be good to have. Uh, let's make the cryo key too, because we will need that. Um, next up, we got the glove, the p lightning glove, the power glove, whatever it is. What's this? Bloodstained glove. What does this do? Oh. Oh, wait. That's that's for rogue, though. Okay, never mind. Um, power glove. There we go. And then, actually, I might upgrade that because I never got the flesh knuckles. I try to get the flesh knuckles because they're really good. However, I just never got it. So I honestly might upgrade this. However, do I need the Warrior's Emblem to upgrade it? Let's see here. I, I bet you do, don't you? Uh, yeah, you do. And then it's only 12% increase melee damage. However, that might be worth it if it frees up an accessory slot. But I also need to make the uh, Frostbark boots. And then I, I might be able to make an upgrade right now. However, I don't know. Um, let's see here. Can I make an upgrade for this? Oh, I don't think I have a Lava Charm, right? Wait, hold on, guys. I'm going to see here really quick. Okay, guys, so I'm actually pretty sure that I can just make the Lava Waiters. Mm, why can't I? What am I missing here? I got all of this. Oh, wait, I didn't... Did I craft a Lava Charm? No, but why can't I? Do I need gold bars? Let me, let me look here. Okay, I think it was the obsidian. So I can now craft a lava charm and then the lava waiters. So now, if I throw the frost bark... Oh my gosh, why don't, doesn't anything ever go my way? Okay. Now, terra spark boots. Terra spark boots. Yes. Craft. Okay. Does the... Do these have an upgrade right now? Angel treads. See, I think this is an upgrade. No, it's post-mechanical bosses. Okay. Alright, anyways, that's our first, or that's our, one of our upgrades there. Um, so I think that that's pretty much all we need to do. Also, yeah, I got the Demon Heart. Um, let me just put the Titan Glove in here. And also, I got this melee weapon. Um, oh my gosh, why is everything so difficult? I got this melee weapon. It doesn't seem that good, but um, it seems like the explode into homing blood on death it seems all right so if i go over here test out the dps eh, it's really not that high actually like compared to something like this or something i guess that's not even i don't even have all my good melee weapons out right now because i have to make a melee weapon <laughs> right now uh it's called the true caustic edge basically i think even in the last episode i made the uh the caustic edge and it wasn't really that good however the true caustic edge looks like something i should be making here but for some reason i can't okay well 
I can make flasks of ichor. I farmed ichor, so flask of ichor. Yes, and I'm actually going to make a ton of these. <sighs> Just my luck. Okay, flask of ichor. Let's craft a ton of them, because flasks of ichor are something that I sh will probably always be needing. Um... Oh, I just threw those away, but we're good. Because, yeah, as a melee, you know, being able to inflict ichor related melee attacks is going to be really good. And I'm pretty sure that uh, Cryogen is not immune to it. So, now, what was it? True Caustic Edge? I still can't make it. What's the thing I'm missing? Uh, Flask of Poison, I think. Okay, well, I can actually craft some of those, too. So, now, I should... In theory, yes, I can craft it. Cool. So this will probably be the best melee weapon that I have right now. Um, and is it ranged? I think, yeah, it is ranged. So does that mean it's not true melee damage? Yeah, that's okay, though, because I got rid of the molten armor because people were saying that the... Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh, that breaks 4,000 DPS. Yeah, people were saying that the Statile Gel armor is better. And honestly, that is probably true for um, this stage in the game. So it looks like I have enough accessory slots to uh, fit these three things. Oh, but I want... You know what? I'm going to use the warrior emblem. Yeah, I'm going to just combine these two and we'll make the glove, the mechanical glove. And yeah, just so we're not... Yeah, we'll get some extra damage. Why not? Okay, let's uh, give these a quick reforge by going here and reforging these. Let's see what I can get here. Obviously, we're going to go with uh, probably warding. Um, and I, I got a lot of coins now. 14 platinum, yeah, I have farmed coins too. Warding, that took way too long, I'll be honest. This is gonna be expensive, uh, but I'll still try nonetheless. Okay, blue, warding, there we go, cool. Look, I just have to shout warding and I'll get it, but I can't abuse that power. Uh, warding, okay. Uh, warding, <clears throat> oh, okay, we got it twice, look at that. It was being nice to me. Okay, cool. So, I, we're all geared up now. Um, for the most part. I mean, I could do with wings. But, we didn't get wings. Oh, jeez. Wings. You know what? I'm gonna see if I can get some souls of flight really quick. Because I'm pretty sure I can make harpy wings. Um, so, let's see. If I type in wings... Uh, ooh. I'm pretty sure those wings suck. Um, but let me see here. Let's see here. Harpy wings? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try and get Souls of Flight. I'm gonna see what happens here. Oh, guys, I also got the Rod of Discord, um, which definitely is probably gonna come in handy with boss fights. Uh, yeah, you can buy that in the Calamity mod with Platinum, which is pretty good. So I already got Souls of Flight here. Uh, so sh maybe just one more Wyvern and... Ooh, another weapon. Nice. Uh, yeah, probably just one more Rive. Wow, this thing ricochets. Oh, this, this sword is really good. Holy cow. Um, especially for, like, instantly and hard- Oh, jeez, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Uh, okay. Boss fight, wyvern time. Hopefully I can do this. Come on, I just need to kill this, and then I can make wings. Yes! Okay, let's get out of here before I die. Okay. I do have enough, right? Yes, 32 is plenty. Okay. Uh, let's, let's make the harpy wings really quick, and we can get into our first boss, boss fight. So, harpy wings? Nope, maybe it's not called that. Wings. make anything oh you need a mithril anvil so i can't actually craft wings until i beat two mechanical bosses what oh can i buy wings from the witch doctor Ooh, i might be able to do that okay we're skipping to nighttime Okay, so I just got a notification saying that this is going to be a terrible night which if you guys don't know basically means that a boss is going to spawn in one of the mechanical bosses. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm not sure I'll be able to do it, but uh, I can still try. Yes, we can get the leaf wings. Okay, so I'm definitely swapping that out with the balloon. Um, and I'm instantly going to go back because... Oh, Witch Doctor died. Okay, that's sad. Um, thanks for the wings, though, I guess. Uh, but let's see if I can give these a reforge really quick. Get something good. Oh, I skipped warding. Uh, warning, warning, I just skipped warning twice, how am I this bad? Okay, warning, um, and let's get some potions by going to buy them, because I'm not going to bother crafting them, because I apparently really suck at crafting. Uh, yeah, my, my, uh, 
My ice biome is now... Oh, I built houses too. I'll have to show you. Hopefully, I can remember that. But I want to get this out of the way. Uh, hopefully, before the boss spawns in, I can get some potions. Go back home, and we'll be good. Uh, you. 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 Yep. Come on. Quicker. 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 I don't know why I just bought a summoning potion, but I bought a summoning potion. That's fine. You. I'm literally just buying everything right now. And I think that should be good. Maybe a feather fall too. Okay. Oh, okay. We're fighting the twins in this biome, I guess. Okay. That's fine. Oh, crap. Move! Oh, gosh. This is already not good. Okay. We'll just go this way. Um. So, yeah. Uh, okay. I already forgot, like, how to do this fight. I would like to, uh... Honestly, I'm not buffed up. Buffed up. Buff up. I mean, okay. Let's just see how this fight goes. This is obviously probably going to be a fail. Obviously. Because uh, I have no prep time for this. Okay. But I do have uh, Ikor. And this boss is not immune to Ikor. In fact, I think all the mech bosses are susceptible to that. If that's the right word. Okay. Um, geez. This sucks because I already I had to start the fight with a lower health. Um, why is it purple? I feel like that that means something. However, this sword is really doing good good amounts of damage. And we even have rage. Oh dang, I could have got a Wait, I still have my adrenaline bar going up. I must have uh I must have gotten a dodge or something. Okay, that's good. Having that adrenaline is going to be good. Let's see if I can keep it going here. Okay. Hope I'm going to get it. Let's go. I got it. And I'm going to die. <laughs> that wasn't bad for no prep time. Okay? Admit that. Okay, guys. So uh, the the houses that I built was this hallowed house uh, right here. Nothing really too fancy. The cool one that I wanted to show you guys is my mushroom or my mushroom biome house. I mean, come on. Tell me this mushroom biome isn't sick. It's like a cave. You go in the front here. Uh, I would have liked some more mushroom trees, but I guess this is fine. You got this mushroom house hanging from the wall. Then you come down here, got some like more cavey vibes. A mushroom house hanging from the wall, and then you keep going down. And yeah, I mean, come on, is this not cool? I think it's pretty freaking cool. Alright guys, I'll admit, I literally just did this fight and wasn't recording. I didn't beat it, but I got it to like 200 HP. Um, so I kind of know what I'm getting into. So, yeah, for the first part of this fight, it's literally going to be like a pushover. Um, and then for the second part, I just kind of have to concentrate. I was just kind of talking too much. So I lost focus and couldn't keep track of everything that was going on. But, yeah, this will be really easy. Not going to lie. Um, looks like I just got my melee. Oh, crap. That was a dumb hit. That was very dumb. Ran right into that. See, I start talking and... This just happens, so yeah. I'm gonna like just try and be quiet and uh, actually beat it, you know, <sighs> first try. Yeah, it'll it'll totally be first try, okay? Uh, yeah, I don't know, but um, like I said, first part of this fight is extremely easy. Um, basically, the main thing that I was talking about uh, in my recording that didn't actually happen was um, oh, we got adrenaline. Go 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 go. No, why did you have to go down there? Okay, anyways, what I was mainly talking about was uh, if if any of you guys are watching this and you're like here for only my Terraria Calamity content or just like Terraria content and you're not here for like Pixel Gun or anything, can you like just let me know in the comments? Like just do me a huge favor and let me know because if I actually have anyone just here for that alone, um, then I will definitely get into making these videos more. Because, you know, uh, this isn't my, like, most popular thing on my channel. Um, however, uh, it is, it did, it did do pretty good. Some of the videos did pretty good last season. So, and they were pretty, the comments were pretty positive on them. So, I mean, if you guys, uh, if you guys are here for Terraria Calamity Mod, please let me know and I will get into this more. Because, yeah, I don't want to leave my Calamity fans in the dark. And, oh my gosh, that single shot did, like, 200 damage. So yeah, that's the thing. You know, I lose focus and uh, it takes stupid damage. I'm out of biome. I'm out of biome. Hopefully that doesn't enrage her. Oh my gosh. I can't even keep track of her. So like once she starts to get low, do I have rage? I do have rage. Once she starts to get low, basically what happens is she, like she starts shooting these small projectiles, but she shoots like a lot of them, which makes it extremely hard to dodge. Uh, like those. Those right there. Where's she at? Let me do them. Let me do some damage. 
Yeah, caustic. This this uh, caustic edge seems to be really good. I'm not even gonna lie. <gasps> oh, that, that could have been really bad. Ah, no, I ran right into her. See, that's the stu dumb dumb damage stuff that I'm talking about. How did I dodge all that? What the heck? Okay, I actually did dodge all those on purpose. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, th that was a that was a good thing I did. Yeah, same there. See, I'm actually not that bad at dodging. Just kind of gotta know it. So she shoots out some straight and then in a circle. So if you get the rhythm down, you'll be good. I mean, obviously, obviously that's what would happen. Uh, can I get adrenaline again? Heck yeah. This is the fight over. There's no way she lives through my adrenaline. Okay, never mind. Guess she will blow through my adrenaline. But she's got like one hit left. Come on. Come on. Just die. Got it. Oh, we got a hallowed key from that. Heck yeah. And my inventory's full because I forgot to buff up like the complete idiot that I am. Honestly, do you guys expect anything less of me? Okay, you know what? I have my cryo key. Let's just do the the ice dude wait a minute can i spawn it in the astral biome uh oh i might have to build an ice biome i just kind of realized that i didn't actually just try spawning it in but i don't think i have an ice biome over here right uh oh guys i mean technically it's snowing right now so technically you would think it's the ice biome mm, i don't know i'm gonna throw down an arena really quick though Okay, guys, well, I tested it, and you can actually spawn the cryogen in the the astral biome as long as it's still, like, an ice biome. So, yeah, we're going to summon this fight in. We already buffed up. And may I add, the sky looks absolutely amazing. I'm pretty sure that cryogen did not always look like that. Um, I'm expecting this fight to be easy only because I'm pretty sure cryogen is supposed to be an easy fight. However, I could be very, very wrong, and I could end up eating my words like I did in the recording that didn't happen with uh, Queen Slime, and I'm just taking a bunch of dumb hits right here. However, I do have Rage, which would definitely be pretty good. Okay, so yeah, there's a ton of ice crystals everywhere. Alright, definitely gonna have to start utilizing more space here, and also try to stay in the ice biome, because I'm assuming that Cryogen which has an ice-themed name, is going to get mad if it... I, mean, I don't even know. If it is not in the ice biome. So, yeah, definitely have to be careful of that. I don't know what the heck that was, but I was able to dodge it. I don't even know if it was charging me. Who knows? Who even knows anymore? I am very bad at, like... Yes, adrenaline. Adrenaline, get some hits in. Yes, come on. Yes, I, okay, I did get some hits in. It wasn't, like, a lot, but it was still something. I just realized I'm really not making a whole lot of progress on this. Um, not even halfway yet. Okay, I honestly thought I was going to get hit right there, but I didn't, so we're good. What on earth? How was I supposed to predict that? In what universe am I su supposed to be good enough to dodge that? Oh, my gosh, I am going to die. Uh, I don't even know how long I, I have. How do I have 45 seconds on a heal? <sighs> uh, okay, I have an idea. First, though, I'm going to slam down the queen, queen slime relic and we'll open up my thing. Okay, I didn't leave anything behind. Looks like we got the, the teleportation hook, which I will probably definitely throw on for this. That hook is really good. Um, ooh. Looks like... This is a magic set. Okay. Um, did we get the queen slime mount? Doesn't look like it. Uh, I don't think I got anything that I need. In fact, I didn't even get a full set of armor, which kind of sucks. But I still got something nonetheless. And then that hallowed key will definitely come in handy, I'm sure, at some point. Uh, so I'm just going to throw everything else in here. Alright, I'm trying this again. So, oh, okay, not good. Uh, this time I have a warmth... A potion which already doesn't look like it's doing too much but the warmth potion basically just gives me immunity to a lot of cold debuffs that I'm assuming that this boss inflicts however it could be entirely possible that this boss doesn't inflict any cool debuffs at all basically I think that what I want to do is just try and stay as far away from this boss as I possibly can oh my gosh why am I taking these dumb hits I'm wasting adrenaline uh, this is annoying um, yeah, I feel like Cryogen was definitely easier than this, but I have to remember, 
I'm in revengeance mode and master mode combined. So, yeah, I mean, new experience for sure. Oh, I almost just took a dumb hit, but we're good. We're good. So far, we are good. Oh, I ran right into it. My gosh. Uh, I need I need my rod of discord probably. I need I need to get my rod of discord. Oh gosh, I can't even see what what is all a projectile and what is it. Everything blue is a projectile pretty much, but it doesn't help when there's like a ton of blue things all over the screen. Oh gosh. The, uh, what the heck, dude? Why does it do that? Why does it, I feel like it's doing that because it's mad at me, but at the same time, like I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. A, a bunch of dumb hits. Bunch of dumb hits. As usual. Okay. Uh, rotted Discord away. Oh no. That was a dumb rotted Discord. That was a very dumb rotted Discord. Okay. How did that hit me? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. What? Dude, I don't know how on earth I'm supposed to dodge all those. And let's not talk about the fact that I've barely done like any damage to it. Oh, okay, I did it. I don't even know what started to happen there, but for some reason I started to lose all my sound. Um, I don't entirely know that was going why that was going on, but it was going on nonetheless. And did I even take? I did take all my potions, but for some reason a lot of them didn't get used. That's okay. I'll reuse them. But yeah, basically. Um, Oh, I should have used my Amrock. That probably would have been good to use. Uh, basically, that fight wasn't hard. That was my second time doing it. It just it just required some concentration so I could actually see what was going on. So basically, I just decided to stop talking. Um, but yeah, it wasn't that bad at all. Uh, let's see what let's see what we got. Um, frost flare could be worn. All melee attacks and projectiles inflict frost burn. Immunity to frost. Immunity to frost burn. Chilled and frozen. Being above 75% life grants 10% increased damage. Being below 25% life grants 20 defense and 15 increase max movement speed and acceleration. Dude, I feel like this would definitely be good to have, but I don't know what for. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll let you guys decide if that's worth having. Maybe even for the yo-yo bag. Um. But the soul of cryogen, I think, is what I want. Flight time 120. What's this? Flight time 100. Acceleration is 1.0. What's this? Uh, okay, I think that this is definitely better for sure. Um, that is the soul of cryogen. Yes. And then cryostone creates a rotating ice shield around you that damages and slows enemies down on contact. Okay. Probably not that. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end the video there. That's probably a short one. However, I did do a lot. I'm going to do more research and see what I need to do for the mechanical bosses. Um, I'm assuming that there's going to be a lot I have to get. So farming will definitely have to happen again. But yeah, I don't want to do any of that on camera. So this probably will be shorter. But thank you guys all for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for the next Calamity episode. Uh, we definitely made some progress and we smashed through those first couple bosses, which was very nice. Not too many complications. Um, so yeah, that was fun. And yeah, I just like to thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Yo guys, so I now have a merch store. I'm going to keep this nice and short while also showcasing some of the merch in the background. So basically, I plan to make a lot more videos in the future where I'm giving out more money. I, I want to be the next Mr. Beast. Okay, I'll just say that. I know I'm not him yet, 
but I'm working with what I got. So if you guys want to support the channel while also looking good, while also wanting me to make better videos, then definitely go check out the merch store. Even just feedback is appreciated. We got a lot of different clothes. We got Mint Gaming logo stuff. We got stickers, phone cases, mouse pads, all different kinds of shirts with my regular logo. And then we even have some funnier shirts, which are just kind of memes and then also like representing your state in a funny way. So yeah, go check it out.